hello everyone so in this video we are going to see how actually we can create a sql server and the sql database by using a azure okay so what actually we have to do we uh, we have to log into the porta.azure.com okay and we have to search for the sql database because sql data which we are going to create it okay once you will click on the sql database this will look like this first time we are creating in the screen will be the similar okay what we have to do we have to click on the create click on the create the create sql database that we are going to do we all know like first we should have a subscription under the subscription we should have a resource group so if you do not have resource group you can create it but i already have resource group that i that i will use it okay now after that we have to define the database name what is our database name make sure it should be unique so as of now i am giving randomly poc database one two three four five something okay because it should be unique okay after that you should have a server also without server i think the database will not be useful okay will not be running okay so you should have a database so for that uh, if you already have you can select from here if you don't have you can create a new server click on the create new you have to define the server name i am giving the server name poc server 5678 or something after that you select your uh, location as of now i am selecting us east us okay the authentication method okay whenever you will log in to the sql server what is the authentication you want to use azure active directory using sql and azure ad authentication or use sql authentication i will click on the use sql authentication i will pass uh, the server name and the password make sure you remember this because once you will log in so you have to pass this okay so this is what i am actually i am passing make sure you give the you remember this server admin login and the password okay click on the okay now our server setup is now done okay now our server setup is now done uh, after that uh, you want to use sql elastipool no workload environment whether the development and production as of now i am doing a testing or doing a project so that's why i am selecting the development okay after that it comes the compute plus storage click on the configure database okay what is the compute storage you want to select if you will select the general purpose it is going to cause 4.78 usd something similarly we have a multiple like hyperscale if you will select this is going to cause this much uh, business critical high 1000 usd per month like that you will get the different um, storage service okay what we are going to select we are going to select the basic one okay the 2 gb maximum size we want okay so that actually we select apply okay after that click on the next networking uh, connectivity method no access public endpoint as of now i am giving public endpoint so that i can access it allow azure service and access yeah currently client address yes actually i'm selecting that okay after that we'll go to the security part we'll we are going to select the start free trial okay so this one only we have to secure and rest uh, we will go as it is click on the additional setup use the existing data so if you want like uh, in your if you select the sample database so you will get uh, there are some table which already be created and some database okay so the sample database under the sample database the multiple table you will already be get so that table actually you can utilize whenever we perform a adf activity so i am going to select the sample database okay click on the next click on the review and create so the here actually you can go through whatever the option you have selected what we have to do we have to click on the create and if any error comes it will throw you error here only and it is showing like because we have selected the basic it is going to cost the 4.90 usd okay so the deployment is in progress we have to wait it to be completed now if you will see our deployment is complete uh, okay what we have to do we have to click on the go to resource once you will click on the go to resource this look like this okay the poc database one two three four five this only we have created this is the overview window and uh, this is the query editor once you will click on this query editor okay 
here only we are going to login and we are going to use it ok so login is money is password is like while creating I have given this password 0 for it there, something ok click ok I will allow this IP because we are going to use that the firewall connection you might have to do once when you will work in a production project and all okay the firewall setups and all that admin people will do okay but uh, as of now you can see we have selected the sample database right so under this sample database we can see this all the tables already available these are the view already available and store procedure also by default it is available because we have selected the sample database how to carry it if I will do select star from uh, this address table if I'll do if I'll try to run it okay it is a select if I will run it you can see we can able to see the data okay so similarly we have a different kind of the table already available so that uh, that's all the table we are going to utilize when we'll do a azure data factory okay so yeah that's it in this video